Here we go. First ball. It's the one slip. Yeah, hanging back into Mukwaja, the left-hander. Beautifully bowled, straight through him. And what a start this for Khan and for Pakistan. Australia losing their first one. I don't think Khwaja uh, wanted to come on to the front foot. The suck it crease. It was a half volley. Didn't really move his feet and Shanwari strikes. Usman gone for zero, is zero for one. Wonderful start from Pakistan. Sean Marsh comes uh, at the crease. Good average, 700 at the age of 35, but a lot of experience. That was really well bowled, but well played from Sean Marsh. He was back on the back foot. The ball was up and swinging back in, but Aslan has to pay the price. Oh, is that out? Inside edge it is. It's carried all the way. Sean Marsh has walked off. He didn't look disappointed. So Pakistan take their second wicket. And it ballooned all the way to square leg. There you go. And it just went far. It just carried quite comfortably to Sean Masood. Picking up a second wicket. Junaid picking up his first. 20 for 2 Australia. Peter Hanscom didn't bat in a game two because Australia were only two down and Len Maxwell came in up the order. Beautiful shot. Talked about in good touch and have a look at that. Straight bat past the bowler, full face of the bat. Here we go, down the ground, big ground or not, that has been smashed. Aaron Finch. Loves hitting Yasser over the top. Once you pitch it up, it's got so much power and the balance at the crease, the, the power that he generates because of that stable base. That has knocked him over. He dragged him forward. Beautifully bowled. was a little bit slower. It just gripped on the pitch. Hands combating so well, but on this occasion, Ball just straightening and a very good delivery. And the end of Peter Hanscom. That's a big wicket for Pakistan. Michael Stoinis being elevated up the order. One, 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 one. Fifty up Aaron Finch, continuing his good form at the top of the order. Third fifty in a row for Aaron Finch. Big shot into the gap and four. I think it's a good angle to uh, execute. It doesn't spin the ball across the right handers. Oh, yeah. Straight ball went across the line and it hit the timber, the middle stump. And he's got a seven here. That's what I meant when I said ball nice and straight. A little bit more flight on that. And um, misses by quite a bit of distance. And Mark picking up his first wicket. It's 140 for four. His numbers are decent. Strike rate is more than dis decent. It's brilliant. Best of one or two. Down the ground. Powerfully hit for four. Such a good player down the ground. Aaron Finch. Gotcha! Finch goes down the ground. And he's found the field. The Harris takes it comfortably. Yasser Shah has his land. And Finch doesn't get his hundred. This is the way he plays when it's up there. At this stage of his innings, he looks to take on the straight boundary. On this occasion, though, hasn't quite pulled it off. 
that look set it immediately he knew that he was going to be short and a comfortable catch in the end and a wicket well played Aaron Finch Australia 188 for five It's a shovel, nothing more than a shovel, and it almost makes it over the rope. Is it a six or a four? That's a four, he's not happy, Chappie. That's gone up in the air, smashed for six. 50 comes up for Glenn Maxwell. He's making Pakistan pay for that grass at point. He was dropped, but his game is lifted. Strike rate of 121 now. Chance run out, it's bullseye from Rizwan and Maxwell is short of the crease. Wanted a, a single to get the strike back. This was the last ball of the over and so a disappointing end to what was a great hitting exhibition innings. Bouncer once again, deceiving Maxwell. Surprise had to go direct at the stumps and Maxwell is out. So that was a, a big wicket for Pakistan. Six for two, four, nine. Well, that's gone for six. That is so well timed that it has made the fence on the pull. So Australia finish on a high because they've got runs on the board and enough runs, I think, looking at the record of teams batting second. It's only 16% chance of teams chasing 250 plus so Australians have got 266 and they'd be pretty happy with how the innings ended Australia were in a bit of bother early on when Khaja was dismissed by Shinwari for not but Finch carried on with the good work with a bat he got a 90 from 136 balls, but the uh, impetus was provided by Glenn Maxwell. Run out by Rizman, but he batted brilliantly for his 71. Pakistan needed wickets right throughout the innings, and uh, some of the uh, strikes were good, especially from Imad, who bowled splendidly well. Tenor was one for 34. Harris Soel was a surprise bowler used today by Shweb. Malik Seveno was one for 35. He deceived uh, Hanscom with a lovely flight and, and a delivery. Pakistan need 267 runs of 50 overs at 5.34 runs per over. We'll take a short break and come back with the run chase. Imam al Haq opening the innings and in takes first ball, average of 55. He's been very consistent since he's come into the side. And with him, another hopeful for the World Cup, Shah Massoud. Started off decently in his ODI career. This is third innings. Yeah, once you go full, it becomes that much more easy to hit through the line. Imam first boundary. Exactly like that. The edge and a terrific catch in first labor hands come left-hander being deceived by Pat Cummings. Superb length and maybe just straightening the ball as it hit the pitch. From around the wicket and exactly what happened. And that is just an outstanding grab from Peter Hanscom. He's got good hands, fielding in the slips in particular, and Pat Cummins strikes. That's a, a vital blow for the Australians. Shan Masood has to go. He's made two. The score, one for 14. Number three, Harris Soel, another left-hander. Averaging 47.6. That's an edge and taken. Sean Marsh, first slip. Cummins round the wicket is unplayable. Harris Soel just fending at one outside off. And second wicket for coming. Very fresh after sitting out the first two games and just uh, find that little bit extra comfortable catch there from Sean Marsh at first slip. And an excellent piece of bowling once again. Might make it. Uh, he's out for one, two for 16.
Mohamed Rizwan coming up that 115 is best. And what a good time it was for him and Sharjah. Oh, another one to the outside edges at a noise. The Australians are very confident. Yes, wants to go upstairs. That's what he wants to do. Aaron Finch has called for it. So they have reviewed. Yes, Alfred just coming up. There's a spike as the ball passed the bat, and there's no gap between the ball and the bat. So I'm satisfied. Can you give the on field umpire a safe? There is a spike as the ball passed the bat, and I recommend you to change your decision to out. You're on the screen. Make your decision. Mohamed Rizwan has to go. Century in game two. Uh, Shoal Malik, I should say. Oh, vast experienced campaigner. Down the wicket. Gee, that's a good shot over mid on. Mid off and mid on are up. <laughs> make any difference there. That's gone and six. Well struck. is raised and he's gone can't on the back foot he's gone for a review okay. to Rick. review for lbw <laughs> yeah i can see clear gap between the batter and the ball and pat first pat first you can go to the ball tracking asif pat first yeah ball tracking is coming up it's impact in line and wicket sitting wicket sitting and you can stay with your original decision. Can you give the on-field umpire? You're on the screen, make your decision, Asif. He's done and dusted, he's gone. History is Imam Ulaq, leg before to Maxwell for 46, Pakistan 75 for four. Yeah, it was coming into the deep, should be out, it is. You just got the feeling the pressure was starting to build up on Pakistan and show up. Malik went for it. Pakistan had to uh, put the foot down a little more than they have been. And not quite to the pitch of the ball, show of Malik. And classic dismissal, just not to the pitch of the ball. Hitting with the turn, but not catching out of the middle of the bat. Very important wicket for the Australians. Pakistan have lost their fifth. Show of Malik goes. For 31, the score five for 96. Omar Akmal definitely on the charge this time by setting cover and gets a boundary. This time around, it's Imam. Imad will see him, I beg your pardon, over the top and uh, fetching another boundary. That's gone up in the air. Cummins has been outstanding in the deep field. He's an excellent athlete. He takes a very good catch. And it's Umar Akmal who's gone. This catch deserves a second look. Dragging it not quite where he wanted it to go. Probably a bit straighter, but uh, just short of a length. And in the end, he's found the safe, good hands of Cummins. That is a good catch. Uh, the bat twisted in his hand, just didn't get enough strength to get the ball over the line. Gone after scoring 36, 149 for six. There's that first attempt down the ground. Will it find the fence? It does. That's a nice shot. Strong drive down the ground from Imad. Gone, Imad Basim is stumped, and it had to happen. Something had to give, and it's Zampas deceived him with a well flighted ball. I think it probably was the wrong gun that wasn't picked. Yeah, I think it was the other one, uh, Ramiz. Imad Wazim, he, he fought bravely. 43 from 53, and Pakistan now 178 for seven. All legitimate, and he struck it down the ground straight to the man at deep enough. So Baranov takes the catch. A little bit of flight to invite that slot, clearing the front leg, knee bent on the turf, and found the fielder to perfection. 
didn't have to move at all that pillar at long off shinwari goes for not 178 for eight. in the air that could be all over this could be another wicket for zampa and picking up his third one pakistan losing the ninth wicket and adam zamp just throwing it up in the air which is what you got to do entice the big shot Junat Khan, uh, all he did was hit it straight up in the air, and I think Alex Carey, the grill, had to look through the grill, and in the end took a relatively easy catch, but just uh, saying to the players, it wasn't that easy. Look at that. 186 for nine. One to get for the Aussies to win, and that's an LBW shout. Oh, the wrong and... Probably turned too much, might have been just missing leg stump. They're going for a review. I can see clearly gap between bat and ball, ball and you can go to the ball tracking, no bat in all. Ball tracking is coming up. Impact in line and wicket sitting. Wicket sitting, uh, Asif, I recommend you to change your decision. Three in a row for the Australians, but it is the sixth time in a row that they've beaten Pakistan in a one-day international series. Pakistan were just not good enough with the bat in that run chase. They were blown away for 186. Imam played a good little innings of 46, but the damage was done by Cummins, who bowled beautifully in juicy conditions with the new ball, hit the hard links, and picked up three wickets in no time to derail this run chase. Three for 23 in eight overs for uh, Pat Cummins, and uh, four wickets for Zampa. He dismantled the late middle order batsman. Right, he was a Josh player of the match. Comments for his brilliant uh, bowling up front with the new ball. Set up the show for Australia to dent and damage Pakistan. So the upshot of the game, Australia 266 for the loss of six. 